mouth noise. You know, it's funny. I worked in radio for over two decades. I don't remember giving a second thought to mouth noise, which now that I think about that, number one, kind of disgusting. Number two, how could I, you know, I don't remember anybody ever talking about it, but in voiceover, it's like all anybody talks about. And it's because, you know, we're working with such good equipment and processing and you can hear everything. And so I know I've talked about it before, but it is a reoccurring theme and it's time we circle around back to it. What's going on? I'm Bill DeWeese, professional voiceover talent, freshly shaven, voiceover coach, voiceover demo producer, ready for Christmas, ready to celebrate the holidays. Hope you guys are doing well. What's going on? Welcome to our daily live stream. We get together for this daily voiceover huddle every weekday, weekday at this time, which is 8.30 a.m. Central my time. But regardless of where you are in the world, and we do have a global audience, really glad that you take the time to stop in. I'd like to share something that will help you be a better voice talent, better voice actor, ultimately helping you make more money. That's the ultimate mission of my coaching, of this channel, of over 1,200 videos, and of the daily live stream as well. So I'm glad you're here. So I'm going to talk, talk briefly about the four things you can do to deal with mouth noise. Are you ready? And I know a lot of, you know, and if you if you have found what works for you, that's great. So I'm not suggesting you change. If you've got, if you've got a formula, because it can be different for everybody because physically we're all different. So there are, there are some things, especially when it comes to things like uh, what you put in your mouth, like granny uh, Smith apples. You know, a lot of people like to do that brushing your teeth. Now those two things, those, those create more mouth noise for me, but for other people, they help. Um, one of the things, well, let's back up. Number one, number one is the physical aspect. If you are aware of mouth noise and how it happens, why it happens, you know, your tongue unnecessarily touching the roof of your mouth, your lips unnecessarily touching each other. If you just develop an awareness of that, you can help eliminate a lot of mouth noise right at the root of the problem right there. Cause a lot of you guys are just totally unaware. You know, you're, you're treating you're, you're acting as if you're sitting in, in a coffee shop talking to somebody, which that should be your mindset. But in terms of mouth noise, that's not the way you do it. Because there, you'll just be unconsciously, your mouth is closed. It's open. Your lips touch. They open. Your tongue's on the roof of your mouth. It comes off. All that noise transmits into your microphone. So just by being aware of that, um, I mean, you've got to do what you have to do to speak, <laughs> obviously. But there's a lot of unnecessary movement that we do in just everyday conversation that we don't need to do in voiceover. You can eliminate that. So we'll take we'll take that off, you know, right off the top. That'll take care of a lot of this. And, you know, I just thought of it. Let me let me add this one because I just was touching on it. There's really five things. The other thing is there are things you can do. Put in your mouth to help. So, you know, maybe gargling hot salt, salt water for some people, Granny Smith apples for some people brushing their teeth. My favorite, without a doubt is gum. Not that extra is any more special than anything else. Not that the flavor peppermint, my favorite, actually flavor, favorite flavor spearmint, but I, I keep a huge box of this. that has an assortment of all the flavors. Any kind of gum helps me. You might want to check it out and see if it helps you as well. Uh, the next step is within, within the audio file itself, learning how to um, zoom in in your audio and see detect, locate the mouth noise and to surgically remove it. That's the next way to do it. And if you're not at that place with your DAW yet, that's something you can work towards, learn how to do that and then practice doing that because a lot of mouth noise, not all mouth noise, but a lot you can get out just by going into to, to, to your editing mode and just taking it out. The next one is spectrally going into the spectral mode of your screen. Uh, I know Adobe Audition has it. I know a lot of other DAWs have it where basically you see a color. It's represented by color as opposed to WAV files. And it's more of a 3D view of what the sound look, looks like. And you can physically, you can see, like when I click, I can see there are horizontal lines that I can very clearly see. And if I just circle the horizontal line, I can physically pull the volume down on that or click the heel button. There are a couple of ways to approach that. But that is a very, that's a super surgical way to get in there and take out mouth noise. By the way, don't do the stuff, and basically take it in the order that we're talking about, that I'm talking about. Because if you do the physical part up front, you won't be doing a lot of this other stuff that I'm talking about. And then the next thing is 
thank goodness for advancements in software and technology. My goodness. It's amazing what a plug-in like Waves X Crackle, which I use, uh, or Isotope RX with the that has its own um, de clipping and de crackling software or modules within it. But and I'm sure there's other software too. But there's some amazing software that can help really clean things up. Is a la- that's that's your last line of defense. That's not the first thing you do. That's the last thing that you do. Um, what you can't get any other way. And by doing those things, and by the way, keep this, I mean, you know, always keep the big picture in mind. Keep the main thing, the main thing. Clients don't hire the audio with the least amount of mouth noise necessarily. <laughs> that's not what they're looking for. They're looking for the best read, the one that, that's believable and connects with their audience. Sometimes we can get so obsessed with this stuff that we miss the big picture. And I know, you know, I'll talk to students who say, man, you know, I spent hours trying to clean up this 30 second commercial thing. You know, that's, if you're doing that, you're spending way too much time. Spend, spend that time on the, you know, on working on your performance, not on the, not on all of the, the mouth noise part. I mean, you need to learn this and spend some time learning it and then clean it up afterwards. But just remember winning, winning is not about of what, you know, voiceover audition is not about having the least amount of mouth noise. Now having a lot of mouth noise can certainly keep you from getting a job but I think you get where I'm going. That's not this, that's not voiceover is not, okay, let's see who can have the least amount of mouth noise. It's about doing, doing, giving your best performance. It's about being believable. It's about being authentic and genuine. That's ultimately it. But these are just things that we do to, to not distract from the performance. All right. So things like this, this is just to keep people from being distracted from that. Uh, if, you want more information on that and the entire audio chain. It just so happens in case you haven't heard, um, I'm in the midst of my 12 day holiday sale and every day for 12 days, offering a, a different special voiceover training program at a very reduced price today. Today's training is on Want anybody want to take a guess. It is the audio chain. Yeah, so in the training that I'm making available today, it's a two-hour training. So we're going to go into some detail. We're going to talk about the equipment that you need and talk about things like, for instance, EQ and compression and loudness matching. And how do you, how do you decide what your EQ, how, how should that be set? Uh, how do you dial in compression properly? What about diffusion and absorption? And what can they do to improve your audio quality? Uh, we're going to talk about processing order and headphone monitoring and audio clipping and sibilance and dealing with mouth noise in which I'll actually go in and show you, not just today week. I told you what they were, but in this training, I'll actually go in and show you uh, how to do those kind of things. And you'll have, you know, watch over the shoulder and see me work and, and all that kind of stuff. So if that's something they feel would help you uh, have better quality voiceover audio, the link is below in the description. If you haven't yet, take a second. I see a lot of you are on. Take a second just to let me know where you are and what's going on in the live stream chat. After I have another sip of my delicious coffee, which again is not Michigan cherry. Today, it's not as good as Michigan cherry. It's the Costco Kirkland. These are, I'm, we're using K-cups still. We're not back to grinding coffee yet because our kitchen has been in such disarray so this is one of my it's it's like eh, it's okay it, it, it's, it's caffeine it'll it'll do uh aaron in you matilla florida you were first in today congrats to you dave in new york city what's happening gs in foggy longview washington denise in long island susan in stillwater oklahoma aaron uh <laughs> yeah congrats it's, it's a chore. I mean, to be first in line, you know, be first on the chat. It's it, that is, yeah, we should have like uh, trophies or something for that one. That's, that's no small feat. Mike, what's going on in Matawan, New Jersey, Corey, still haven't started your Christmas shopping. Well, no worries. You've still got like three days, so you're good. You're golden. Uh, and if you're an Amazon prime member, pff, same day delivery, forget about it. AG in India. Rob, greetings from WKRC Radio in Cincinnati. Just spent the last three hours singing Christmas songs as bumper music for Brian Thomas's radio show. Hey, Rob, that's 
<laughs> That's fantastic. WKRC in Cincinnati. Awesome. Awesome. Good times. Uh, Ty, what's happening in Warsaw, Indiana? Uh, Misha, how are you in Chile, South Carolina? Mark in Wilmington, North Carolina. Robert, uh, let's see, met with Alex last night, got my dog dialed in. It's time to go. Yeah, happy holidays to you in Atlanta. Greg, Asheville, North Carolina. Adam in the Berkshires. Bill in Foggy Boise. Dale, good morning to you. Susan. Uh, oh, thank you. I, you know, I am. I'm better today. Um, I would say I'm about 95% back. So all good. I appreciate that. Hey, John, how are you doing in Ryan Beck, New York? Danielle in Fort Wayne, Indiana, home of Sweetwater. Sirius in 37 degree Charlotte. Tyler, what's going on in Springfield, Ohio? Wade in Philadelphia. Good morning. Ted in Cleveland, Ohio. Hello. Dale in Atlanta. Mike in Spanish Fort, Alabama. Um, Dave in New York says your voiceover blueprint not only coached coached on voiceover coaching, but including golden nugget life lessons. Thank you, Dave. I, I appreciate your kind feedback. You know, I found that I think success in any area of life is not just about that particular thing. It's about understanding, I think, higher level things. And once you kind of have your head right and your perspective right, a lot of the other stuff becomes so much easier. Um, let's see here. Robert, Robert, Robert. Uh, let's see. Good morning to you, John in Memphis. Good morning, Kristen, Los Angeles, Tom, your outside voice in Pittsburgh, <laughs> Amy, big happy morning to you in Altoona, Pennsylvania, Scotty in Brookings, South Dakota, Mark in Estes Park, Colorado, Ty, spectral view is a game changer. Yeah, right. You know, what's funny is I didn't even start using it until, I don't know, maybe three years ago. I'm, I tend to be. I don't like to be the first kid with a new thing in some cases. Now, if it's a, like a Mac device or Apple device, yeah, I, I like to be the first kid with that. But when it comes to like, you know, things like the spectral view and all of that, it had been around for a while before I finally decided, hmm, let me give it, let me give it a, a spin. And man, it, it's a life changer. It is. It's good stuff. Chad, good morning to you in Daytona Beach. Melissa in San Diego. Magic Bob, what's up? Scotty. He says, yep, favoriting this one. John, have a little cradle in audio. Bob says, Merry Christmas from Brantford, Ontario. Glad to be back and to renew my commitment to the voiceover blueprint. Well, Bob, we're glad to have you back doing that as well. Yes, sir. -y. Doug in Greensboro, North Carolina. Good morning. Rob in Altoona. We've got uh, Igor from St. Petersburg, Russia. Good to have you on, Igor. Uh, and Eek, good morning to you again. I'm glad to have you back. Claire Rowley, Merry Christmas to you. Hoping for snow in Prescott, Arizona. Dion, hello. Dave says, where on this planet can a person build the framework and foundation to start a viable business with a plan? The voiceover blueprint is the secret sauce. Bill has developed hours of coaching. Thank you, Dave. Dave, you're starting to embarrass me. Thank you. I, I appreciate that so much. Dion uh, from Brighton in the UK. Hey, Dion. We've got Lubbock, Texas in the house. Heather in Chattanooga. Anna in New York City taking care of a sick cat. Oh, no. I hope that cat gets better soon. Steve, Merry Christmas to you and your family in Lexington. from Lexington. Thank you, Steve, and to you as well and your family. Hey, Doug, I'm sure holiday voiceover work has ended for now. What is the next season rush for VO work comes? Or when is the next, what is the next rush come? Uh, yeah, things have slowed down a bit. I'm still getting some stuff, you know, coming in. Usually the week between Christmas and New Year's is traditionally for me, you know, if I look back over the 17 years, that's the slowest week of the year. And that in July, the week of July 4th is a pretty close second, I would say. Uh, things will, you know, people getting back to work after New Year's, and that's when things start popping again. New projects uh, start happening. So I expect later in the week after the New Year starts, we'll, we'll be cranking up. Wally and the Blueprint, Morning Bill and the Blueprint Choir. Remember, practice makes perfect. Perfect. Rusty, good morning to you in the UP of Michigan. Anthony in Phoenix. Susan in Colorado. I've been learning from your videos. Thank you. Well, thank you, Susan. I appreciate that. 
And I appreciate all you guys. Thank you for being here. And again, I, I hope you're having a great Christmas and holiday season. And uh, if you haven't started, you know, here's a public service reminder. If you haven't started shopping yet, don't be like, I'm not going to mention any names, but, you know, get, get on that. Get on that. You don't want to be late. I just remembered, actually, last night I was going to bed and I do have some presents I haven't wrapped yet. And I thought, I probably should get on that. That'll be my next, that'll be my next thing. Uh, but enjoy this, this time, these, these seasons, these years pass so, so very, very quickly. And today's, by the way, it's winter solstice. Did you know that? Just found out this morning. What is winter solstice? You ask it's the, it's the shortest day of the year when the sun is, uh, however that works, where it's the shortest day of the year. And then, uh, so the good news for those of us who like daylight and are not night dwellers, there might be some of you guys that enjoy the shorter days. But now, beginning tomorrow, the day will start to get longer and longer and longer till we get to summer solstice. And then, you know, and there's your science lesson for today, kids. Thanks again. Have a great day. And don't forget to check out day 10 of my 12 day holiday sale. Link below. Get all two hours of training on your audio chain. Mouth noise, EQ, compression, clipping, you know, all the stuff you need to know. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you.